Angela Davis, Billie Jean King, Carl Burnett, Dor Dolores Herta, Herta, Ella Baker. Have you heard of any of these? Probably not. These are March 8th is a really important day. Uh, do anyone know why March 8th? Well, it is the International Women's Day, which means that it's a day for women's rights. So, women in America weren't allowed to vote before the 1920, which is kind of late. We aren't been allowed to vote for less than a hundred years. She says a little bit. Um, the book I'm going to read is called Rad, American Women's A to Z, and Z um, which is about all the famous women, women, or about 26 famous women in American history who changed the world, or America in some way, who are inspiring in some way or another. It's written by Katie Schatz and illustrated by, Mon by Miriam Klein Stahl. Um, For lack of time, I'm going to read two passengers, passengers that I think is important. And the first is the first page, which describes what, what it is all about. Welcome to Rod American Woman A to Z. Uh, American history is filled with stories of brave and powerful men. But have you ever wondered where the women are? In this book, you will find the stories of 26 women who have made a big impact on our nation. They represent different race, race and ethnic, ethnicity and come from different parts of the country. Some grew up very poor and some had rich families. Some were born long, long, some were born long, long ago and some are still living. They are artists and sports heroes heroes, rock stars, and scientists. Who do you have, what do they have in common? Every single one of these individuals changed America in some way. Each one worked hard and believed in herself, even when others expressed doubt or said no. The Rod women have all said, yes, I can. What does it mean to be Rod? Well, it means a few things. Rad is short for radical, which comes from the Latin, Latin word meaning from the root. So a radical person can be someone like Ella Baker, who did, uh, who did a grassroots organization. A radical can be a power person who wants to make big change in, changes in society, like Angela Davis and the Grimmick sisters who fought to end discrimination of all kind. Radical can also be used to describe something that is different from the usual, like Maya Lin's Vietnam Memorial or Ursula Le Le Guinness, Guinness uh, into Innovation Science Fiction. Rad is also a slang word that means cool or awesome. Like when Flashly Flo Joe ran faster than any woman in the world, or when Patti Smith uh, takes the stage to rock up, out. We hope that you find inspiration in this page, these pages. Whether they're, you're a girl or a boy, or a parent or a teacher, these women are American heroes, and they're part of, of all of our histories. We can find inspiration in the stories of all people, no matter who they are, and no matter who they are. Uh, and no matter who you are, you can make a difference too. Enjoy the book, love. Katie, Katie the author, and Miriam, the illustrator. Um, so, this book, I'm just going to show you, has a new one for each of the alphabet. Um, which contains a lot of difference, but I'm also going to read to you the for X. A little background knowledge. Throughout history, many women have not been recon recognized for, for their performances, for their discoveries, uh, and many of them, other people have taken the credits, their father, their husbands, their sons, whomever. It's X is for the woman who names we don't know. 
It's for the woman we haven't learned about yet, and the woman whose stories we'll, we'll never read. X is for the woman whose voices weren't heard. For the women who aren't in the history books, or the halls of fame, or on postage post stamps, or coins. For the women who didn't get credit for their ideas and inventions, who, wouldn't own, could, who couldn't own property or sign their own names. The women who weren't thought to read or write, but managed to communicate anyway, who weren't allowed to work but still supported their families, or who worked all day but weren't paid as much as the men. X is for the radical his history that didn't get recorded. X is for our mother, mothers, our matriarchate, ma our ancestors, n nurses and neighbors and aunts and teachers, the woman who made huge changes and the woman who made dinner. X is for the hands that built and sh shared and wrote and fought, the bodies that bridged and worked and strained to keep going, the feet that walked around, jumped and balanced, the minds that dreamed and desired, the hearts that loved. X is also for all that's happening now and all that is still coming, still to come. X is for the women in, women in homes and office and fields and labs and classrooms who invented Invent and transform and build and create. X is for all we don't know about the past, but X is also for the future. X makes the spot where we stand today. What will you do to make the world rad? And let's just take a moment to take that in. I think it's such an important passage and I want to know um, what do you think about it and if you can think of anyone that you think of as Rod in your family, any woman you know, that um, history may not know that you can think of and then think of um, our lives today. How is it, we know that there's a change been happening and more and more women steps up and become leaders. Um, the United States still doesn't have have had um, had a female president, but I think that might be in the future. Um, so I want to know what do you guys think about think about this topic of red woman in history? And we're also gonna go <laughs> later closely more into all of the the rod woman that's in this book um there are also more future that we can look into acknowledgements uh, websites uh, resource guides more books um, also on the left side is 26 things that you can do to be rod number one a is for act as an ally in support of all people b is for believe in yourself and all you can do. C is for create art, sing, dance, paint, write. D is for dare, to be the only one, only girl on the team, only boy wearing pink. Cool. E is for educate yourself, both in school and out. Being smart is rod. F is for friendship. It's powerful and way, way better than gossip and bullying. G is for give, more than you take. Hugs give smile advice. Give ma giving makes you, us feel good. H is for hope, for the best, even when things aren't going great. I is for inspire others. You can do a, be a hero to people younger than you and older too. J is for jokes are important. Making people laugh can be a powerful tool. K is for no where you come from, who you are, your ancestors, what are their stories. L is for listen up. There, share your thoughts, but listen to what others have to say too. N is for, or, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> N is for make mistakes, learn from them, and keep on trying. N is for nurture, the living being begin, 
the living beings you love. Oh, it is for out, outside. Can be more fun than inside. Go out and explore. P is for protect yourself by being safe and making smart choices. Q is for questions are awesome. Raise your hand and ask away. R is for respect. The earth and all its living creatures. S is for, S is for stand up for what you believe and for people who can't stand up for themselves. T is for try new things even if you're afraid to fail. U is to is for understand others. Instead of judging people, try getting to know them. V is for voice your opinion loud and clear, even if you don't think anyone is listening. W is for work together. Teamwork is fun. X is for x-ray everything. Learn what's inside. Y is for yourself is the best thing you can be. You don't need to be anyone else. Uh, Z is for zero tolerance for discrimination. Speak up when you witness unfair treatment. And this is a calling for all of us to be raw in our own way.